Now that you've got an understanding of factorials, it should be simple to solve this next problem. Let's take the word isogram, which means a word or phrase that doesn't repeat any letters. Conveniently for us, isogram is an isogram, so it will be especially easy to figure out how many possible ways we can rearrange its letters. Just like the last problem we did. There are seven possible letters to go first, six available for second, five available to go third, and so on. So we come out with the equation 7 times 6 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equivalent to 7 factorial, or 5,040. It gets trickier when we want to find out how many ways we can rearrange the letters in a word that has repeated letters. Let's take cattywampus. That's a fun enough word. T and A both appear twice. When we switch the positions of two repeated letters, we do not create a new distinct pattern, and we don't want to count the same thing twice. So for every repeated letter, we want to divide the whole equation by factorial the number of times the letter is repeated. That means we're dividing the number of different ways the repeated letters could have been recombined to create the same order of letters. Then we only count each distinct pattern once. So for cattywampus, there are a total of 11 letters, but two letters that repeat twice each. We would end up with an equation like 11 factorial, for all the combinations of the letters, and then over 2 factorial to take into account when A and A are switched places, and 2 factorial for when T and T switch places. Then, for the same reasons, if we take the word aardvark that, had eight, that has 8 letters, we would use the expression 8 factorial, once again for the whole word, and then over 2 factorial times 3 factorial because the A is repeated 3 times and the R is repeated twice. Get excited because this technique can be used for any word!